welcome if you are new. I am your host, Leah Pakafa, and it is a pleasure to meet you. I hope that everyone is doing well. If you are returning, welcome back, Soul Family. Hug. Nice to see you guys as always. And if you are new here, welcome to the Soul Family. If you'd like to join, just consider uh, subscribing and liking this video, please. It would greatly help out my channel. So, anyway, I might post this on Instagram and YouTube. But, yeah, thank you so much for being here. I really, truly, deeply appreciate each and every single one of you guys who have been supporting me on my journey, who've been supporting my readings and all of that. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you. So, um, information, decks, disclaimers, all that will be in the description box if you're interested or if you are new, please have a look at least at the disclaimers. I cuss, I am a no bullshit reader, I say how I feel, you know how it goes. So I hope that that won't discourage you from watching, but if that is something that you're not into, if that's an energy that's too blunt for you, then I may not be the reader for you. So without further ado, let's just get into it, you know how it is. Um, today, the Dark Exact Tarot wants to be used. This was my first arrow, 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 <laughs> my first ever tarot deck, um, arrow. That just made me think of like E-R-O, something sexy is in the air maybe? Who knows? Anyway, so let's see what comes out for us today. I do have some exciting news that I want to share at some point. Keep an eye out for that. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Underneath the deck, we have the tower in reverse. So, definitely things have been changing, foundations have been crumbling, or you may be in the energy of holding on to something that has crumbled you'll know your situation better than I. Now this group of cards fell out before these two, so I'm just going to take all of them. Let's see what comes out. So here we have the Five of Swords upright. Right away, this is okay. And the Four of Swords in reverse is next, which I was about to mention the Four of Swords. So you can see here there's four swords and there's one person. But in this one, there's one sword and there's three other swords. I'm sorry, it's not a person, it's a sword. Duh. But this is giving me the feeling that you may have been refusing to go within yourself. And that may be a part of why this tower card here is in reverse, right? And underneath the tower, look, we have another four. But we'll get to that later, okay? So, you have been needing to go within yourself. But you may have been refusing. Why do I say that? When you try to go within, you're met with all of those mental... You're meant with mental fog. You're met with confusion. You want to go within, but whenever you do, it stirs up a lot of difficult emotions and difficult memories and things that you have to go through to relive those things in order for you to heal them. Okay, that's interesting. All right, I'm looking ahead. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, Anyway, the Ace of Swords is about communication, right? So it's like there's something that you have been wanting to convey, but you're trying to go within to figure out what to say or how to say it, when's the right opportunity to come forward, but you're not quite sure. 
And whenever you decide to, oh, you know what? I'm going to take the plunge. I'm just going to say how I feel. Like you block yourself. And you're met with these feelings of the past where your heart has been broken. You have been let down. You have been disappointed by people, places, and things in your life. Right? So it's like you want to go within. You have something to say, but you just... You want to say it and then you shut yourself down because you feel like I need to go within more I need to think about this more before I can convey what it is that I want to say but what you're doing is you're really blocking yourself you're actually not going within because when you're met with these emotions this trauma or whatever it is and it's understandable that's going to be difficult but you have to go through it. You have to relive it, so to speak, in order for you to work through it, okay? It's hard, it sucks, it hurts. It's not gonna be easy. No one ever said the journey to healing is easy. Even if you break a bone, it's still gonna fucking hurt when, you're, when it's healing, you know what I'm saying? So you wanna come forward, but then you start to go within, and when you start to go within, you stop because it's painful now the thing is here we have the star card upright so you're trying to heal you're trying to follow your north node so to speak right you're trying to follow your purpose you're trying to follow your intuition i feel like you may also be trying to become more enlightened maybe you're trying to open your third eye you're trying to communicate more with spirit the pyramids align perfectly with Orion's belt I believe but thinking about the technology at the time even though we don't truly understand what technology they had it, it would be seemingly impossible for them to know exactly where to place these pyramids that are cut so perfectly, so precisely, and yet they align with, with the stars perfectly. So it's like what you are going through is but the foundation towards your stability, towards this new beginning, towards what it is that you want to manifest in your dreams, the star here is about healing but we have the sun in reverse so it's like there's this aspect of you that doesn't believe in yourself you're doubting yourself and that's interesting because yesterday on my instagram stories i shared um this quick little message that was pretty much like you know, you can manifest whatever it is that you want. You just have to, you go for it. Stop doubting in yourself and start doing what it is that you want to manifest in your dreams, in your life. You have this healing. The healing is there. You just have to reach it, so to speak. The sun is shining bright. But it's like, it's kind of blinding you to some degree. There may be an aspect of you that is in denial about something. Perhaps it's the direction that you're taking, right? Because I see two arrows here. Perhaps it's about the direction that you're taking or it's about reciprocity. You may have been dealing with a person or a situation where you have been thinking that you have been reciprocating when in reality, it hasn't been an even 50-50, so to speak. The sun is shining bright, but it's, it's like it's kind of blinding you. It's like this teeter-tottering process. You want to move forward, but you're holding yourself back. And then when you want to move forward, you stop because you're afraid of something I don't know the two of wands here again is making me think of balance right of yin and yang perhaps you know take this as it resonates it's not for everyone you know 
it's just a label but perhaps this might be something of twin flame i'm seeing a lot of energy of balance or where there needs to be balance i should say you may have feel you may feel like you have been forgotten someone may have made you feel left out kind of like ghosted someone may have ghosted you or you may have ghosted someone it's like you want to come forward you want to say how you feel you may have passion there right because the wand symbolizes fire passion spirituality motivation um inspiration right so you feel inspired by this person or situation to to become a better version of yourself but then when you realize the hard work that it takes to get there you stop yourself okay now let's see these two cards we have the page of wands in reverse and then we have the lovers in reverse okay so again it's like you want to convey how you feel to someone about something but you stop yourself the page of wands wants to share a message of their inspiration of their passion of the fire that is within their their heart within their spirit but this is the page I just saw 1155 ones and fives we mentioned here with the two there's those two ones ones but they make ones five is about change right so you have been trying to make these changes you want to come forward to there's like an energy of a person or a job or something something that you're very passionate for but you feel like a page a page is is someone who who just barely wants to get out of their shell get out of their comfort zone they're barely on that journey they're taking the first steps on that journey right but again it is in reverse so it, it's again you stop yourself and with the lovers here in reverse as well you stop yourself you keep stopping yourself you know what you want but I feel like you're afraid to get it perhaps you feel like you don't deserve it or this person or this job or this thing whatever it is but you do if it's truly what's in your heart then you do deserve it you just have to speak your mind say how you feel and I understand that it's difficult sometimes but you need to follow your intuition if your intuition is telling you to reach out or to say something or you know whatever the case is then do it but ask yourself you know also if your intuition is telling you to go within then go within but you need to ask yourself is this my ego telling me to reach out or to go within regardless of what direction it's telling you to take you need to ask yourself is this my ego is this my mind trying to tell me to just shoot a message over because I just want to get this over and done with or is it telling me that it's time to come forward is it telling me that I need to go within to keep figuring some stuff out first or am I just wanting to stay silent and ghosting someone because I'm afraid there's a big difference and I saw 1441 okay you guys again four and one five five is about change you know your situation and I feel like you're holding yourself back.
possibly from a union of a person or a job, a situation where you feel like there needs to be reciprocity. You want reciprocity. You want there to be a new beginning in something. But the foundation underneath here You may be concerned that the foundation has already crumbled and that there's nothing left. Let me share with you something that I was raised on. Something that my parents raised us by. If you want something, ask. What's the worst someone can say no? And then what? At least you have an answer, right? So what's the worst that someone can do? Say no? And if they do, at least you have an answer and you don't have to be worrying about it or concerned about it or, or fearing the answer anymore. You should just come forward if you feel like it's time to come forward. But again, ask yourself, are you in an energy that is not your intuition? Are you fighting it? Whether it's telling you to come forward or telling you to hold on to your energy? This is a kind of stingy feeling, right? So we had the page of wands earlier with the lovers both in reverse, but here we have the king holding on to something. The king of wands is holding on to those pentacles, holding on to your energy, holding on to your finances, holding on to whatever it is. This is a stingy energy though, okay? So it's like when it comes to this situation, you feel like you can't speak. You can't speak your mind, you don't say how you feel, and then you get in your head and you're always teeter tottering like what should I do I don't know and then you stress out about it and then you're concerned and you're worried and you don't know but the truth is that you do know you're just fighting it because you're fighting going within you may think that you've gone within enough but the truth of the matter here is you haven't there's more Okay, and that's okay. Like, it's not to call you out or call me out or whatever. It's so that we are aware that there's more work that needs to be done. That doesn't mean that you cannot convey how you feel. I remember telling one of my exes before, like, I think it's too soon when he asked me out. I, I, I don't know, are you sure it's too soon? You know, I still have issues. And I'm still trying to work on these things. And he mentioned, like, we can work on that together. I'm not going to go further into that, but that's my point. Like, don't say something that you don't mean. Don't agree on something that you don't really agree on. The foundation is is there if you take the plunge. The longer you wait, the more this is gonna crumble. I'm feeling different messages for different people. They say time makes the heart grow fonder, which can be true. But at the same time, time can make people drift apart. I feel like you're waiting because you don't want to make a move. It may be an ego thing, and I'm getting that here. This is making me feel like ego. You're not conveying how you feel if this message is resonating with you. Not because you, how can I say? I feel like it's because of your ego. I feel like it's because you don't want to admit your wrongs or anything like that. And it's not about who's wrong or who's right. It's just about if you're wrong, admit it, you know? It's okay, like someone who really loves you is gonna try and work, 
work it out with you. But you feel like, like there's nothing left. But at the same time, with the tower in reverse, this is also telling me that the time that you think the worst is already passed. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. But you're holding on to something that you, deep down inside, don't really want to keep holding on to. And I feel like what it is that you're holding on to is, is perhaps a sense of ego perhaps I don't want to come forward because I don't want to be the one to reach out or whatever the case is I don't want to admit that I'm wrong I don't want them to ask me questions because then I have to be honest with them and I don't want to be honest with them whatever the situation is I feel like <laughs> you're kind of making it like someone else's problem when in reality, you're holding on. You're, you're being kind of stingy to some degree. And being, how can I say? It's not, there's nothing wrong with self-love. Self-love is very important and we do have to put ourselves first, yes. But when we are being stingy, when we want to share, when we want to come forward deep down in our heart, but we're keeping ourselves back, how do you expect to get what you want? And look, the Eight of Wands is in reverse. The Eight of Wands upright is about communication, quick movement forward. It's about moving forward, but it's in reverse. And this was underneath the King of Wands. The King of Wands is refusing to communicate something that he really wants to, or she, take it as it resonates, it doesn't matter, but they're not. Whatever the reason is, this person refuses to do so, okay? We also have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Look at this. It's like the energy between the king and the queen is a knight in reverse. <clears throat> if this is about you and someone else, I feel like you both still have some kind of passion towards each other because, <clears throat> excuse me, both the king and the queen are upright. But the energy that is between them was the Eight of Wands in reverse, again, not communicating, not moving forward, being slow, because the Eight of Wands upright is also about quick movement forward. And the Knight of Wands, which is about someone who comes forward with a offer, and this is a passion, a motivation, a creativity. The energy that's connecting this King of Wands and this Queen of Wands is not moving. So who's gonna make a move? Who's gonna make a move? Okay, and underneath this Queen we have... No way, yo! You guys, <laughs> I'm sorry. The out... Mm. <clears throat> okay, the world card in reverse. The world card is about cycles. It in reverse is about not moving forward, not moving on to the next cycle, right? That's what it is about. The world card is supposed to be that next chapter, but it's not going to move. It's not going to budge. You're not going to get what you want. If you don't fucking say how you feel, it's not going to work. It's not going to happen, okay? And it's not because it can't happen. It's because you're not allowing the time and space to make it happen. Because you're holding on to your energy. 
How do you expect someone to reciprocate if you're giving them nothing? That's not reciprocation. That's stinginess. Come on now. You're not closing out this cycle. And if you really want to move forward, you really want to say how you feel, then say it. If you feel it is time to speak, then speak. What's the worst someone can say? No? And then what? Life goes on. At least you have an answer. At least you know now. And you don't have to keep stressing out about it. But if you have something to say, you need to say it. Stop getting in your head, making it seem like it's already ended, like there's nowhere else for it to go. The worst has already happened. And you're focusing so much on that rather than focusing, I saw 2552, instead of focusing on the movement forward, closing out the cycle of not communicating okay after that oh damn what card was next <laughs> I I think it was the magician that was last I think it was the queen so we had the queen we had the moon we had the magician the magician the moon the queen I, I mixed up the cards. I remember the queen being upright. But the queen is in reverse. Okay. So, with that being said, it's like there's this energy that the queen here may be wanting to share feelings too. But if the queen sees that you, you're staying in secrets, lies, deceit, masks. The queen isn't going to come forward. And it's not because there's nothing left. It's because you're still in this energy. With the magician in reverse is saying, what do you want? Do you want to create this or not? Right? This, I believe, is the horned god, but it's, it's sideways, so I'm not sure. But this is the sign of the sun, right? That. And then we have this here. It's making me think of the horned god, which makes me think of balance. Like Baphomet, for example, about balance of feminine and masculine. Balance, solve, coagula. It's all of this stuff. We also have the philosopher's stone here. The philosopher's stone is about creation, right? Being an alchemist, alchemy, inner alchemy is about creation. It's about death and rebirth, transformation. You have the tools necessary. Are you going to use them or not? That's your choice. If you want to say how you feel, that you're tired of, of being so confused, if you really do know what you want, because the Seven of Cups is about confusion. It's about options. It was in reverse. So it's like, if you already know what you really want, why waste any more time? Because for all you know, someone else can take the opportunity. The longer you wait, the more possible it is that you're not going to get what you want because someone else might get the opportunity. If you are not going to come forward, someone else will. Okay? The queen, I do remember her being upright, but it was it's reversed now. So the queen isn't saying how she feels. She really, really wants to. But she's not. Whether this is the feminine or masculine, take as it resonates, doesn't matter. Okay? Because they see this if you come forward and and speak that you know what you want there's still a chance is something that i'm getting the feeling of the hanged man 
in reverse. Justice. Yo. The three of swords in reverse too? You guys, okay. The hangman in reverse. Do you really know what you want now? Are you really seeing clearly now? This rose is standing upright. The hanged man. That's someone who hangs themselves upside down so that they can see things from another perspective. Right? But the hanged man is in reverse. So again, it's making me think of this four of swords in reverse. Not going within. Are you really trying to see a different perspective? For some of you, you are. For some of you, you're not. That's the energy that I'm getting. Some of you, the hangman is in reverse because you see what you want. You know what you want now. Are you gonna go get it? Are you just gonna keep daydreaming about it? Because, yes, the law of attraction However, if you really want something, why waste time? If you know what you want, go for it. You know what I'm saying? For some of you, you haven't gone within enough to know what you want. For some of you, you've seen, you now see the different perspective. And you now know what it is that you want. Justice. Look, there's two swords there justice it takes two it takes balance it takes reciprocity it takes communication effort loyalty compassion and sometimes compromise in order to find balance within a situation a love situation a professional situation whatever the case is take it as it resonates the Justice card was next. You may have, you may believe karma was on your side or wasn't. You may believe I don't deserve this. Karma bit me in the ass and made me go through the Three of Swords because I'm not deserving. Bullshit. If you tell yourself that you're not deserving, then you're not and it's not because that's the truth it's because that is the truth that you are imposing on yourself does that make sense we have the three of swords here in reverse after the justice so it's like whatever heartache there was whatever tower moment that there was they're in reverse. This shit already happened. You may be the one holding on to resentment or the past. I hear sirens. Take that as a confirmation, if you may. If you feel that deep within you, like, oh, then yeah, that's for you. Okay? It's not to bash you down, it's... Again, we keep it real here. It's not to sugarcoat or anything. Where would we get in life if everyone sugarcoated everything? We'd all be snowflakes melting in the sun. And I live in the desert. So you wouldn't last a second out in the desert if you're a snowflake. Know what I'm saying? So... The balance... The karmic justice has already been done. If you take the opportunity, if you put yourself out there, you will see. The past is already in the past. Maybe you're the one holding on to it. Maybe this person or job, person, place or thing, whatever the situation is, has already moved past that. And maybe they already want a new beginning. They, they already also learned from those swords. This could be your energy, could be their energy, could be someone else's energy. Take it as it resonates. 
but we do have the Empress and we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is exactly what I'm saying. You're holding on to this belief that, oh, things ended poorly, they ended bad, like that's it. Maybe. For some of you, maybe. But seeing this followed by this? Well, I mean, the tower came out before, but the Justice card. What's this? The Empress. The Empress is the embodiment of all queens. She's compassionate. She's loving. She's caring. She's kind. She's understanding. Don't take advantage of her. Don't take advantage of someone's kindness. A woman scorned. No, but she learned. Okay? So what does this what does this refer to? The Eight of Pentacles is about working on stability, working on the your creative pursuits. The Empress here may still want something with you. If you really know what you want now. If you come forward and actually say how you feel. If you balance out the scales and reciprocate, then the queen is there. Not, not the queen, the empress. More than the queen, okay? The queen may still want to work on something with you, but time's ticking is the feeling that I'm getting here. Eight is about balance, it's about cycles. You choose the cycle. You choose what you want. Are you trying to come forward or, or not? And that doesn't mean that you have to be ready 100% right here, right now. But if you at least convey how you feel. Okay, what's this card? So, I didn't mean to grab this card too, but it ended up being grabbed and this one fell in reverse and it's the Seven of Cups in reverse. It fell upside down, my bad. If you admit how you really feel, you say how you really feel, you say you apologize if you have to apologize, I'm sorry I've been stingy. I'm sorry I've been holding on, when what I really want, I know what I really want now. This time has allowed me to see. We do have the Nine of Pentacles underneath as well. This is about independence. But in this deck, interestingly enough, it's one big pentacle surrounded by a bunch of pentacles. You and or this person may have been feeling like you're doing everything alone. I just saw 3838. Excuse me. But in reality, you have all these pentacles around you. You're trying to build something for yourself. You and this person, I feel. And I feel like that's your focus. Right now is independence. And there's nothing wrong with that. But you don't have to. You don't have to be stingy. Or not communicating how you feel. Just because you want independence. If that's something that you want, then throw that out there too. Speak your damn mind is like I'm getting that energy a lot here. Speak your mind. Speak your truth. You want independence. Good. Don't we all? It's like you think that coming forward is going to mean that you have to give up your independence. I'm feeling maybe that was the case at some point. 
but with the tower card in reverse, the three of swords in reverse. I feel like you both have learned some fucking lessons. You both have learned from the past. You both want independence, but at the same time, you both want to balance out the scales and have balance to create together. That's the energy that I'm feeling here. What is that? Okay. I'm going to try and pick up the deck exactly how I see it. I saw the high priestess in reverse sticking out from underneath. So the high priestess in reverse. The high priestess follows her intuition. What's in reverse? So it's like you and or this person is trying to follow your intuition, perhaps, but you're not. You're fighting your intuition. I just saw 41 14. Change. Change. Motherfucking change. That's what's trying to come through. Balance. It's trying to come through. And underneath the High Priestess was the Nine of Cups in reverse. What is this telling me? The Nine of Cups is about emotional stability, right? Where's the Nine of Pentacles? Sorry, I've been throwing these cards all around. Here. The Nine of Pentacles is about independence and stability for one person, right? The Nine of Cups is the same, but for emotions, emotional stability, emotional independence. However, if you see this card, there's two cups. There's two cups here in reverse. You both want independence, but you both want reciprocity. So how do you do that? By being independent and coming together independently, coming together and, and sharing that. I hope I'm making sense. Creating something with someone takes balance. Two cups are in reverse, you and someone else, or you and another situation, whatever it is that's going on in your life. You're, you're struggling to have the emotional stability that you're looking for because you feel so connected to this person. And I'm not getting the sense necessarily that it's codependence. Perhaps at some point in the past it was codependence and maybe that's one reason why there was heartache, why there was a foundation that crumbled. Maybe codependence was a part of it. And I have a feeling it went both ways. But now, both of you are coming into more independence and stability by yourself. But deep down inside, you want to have emotional stability with someone. But again, if you don't say how you feel, if you don't move forward, Six of Swords is about moving forward. If you don't say how you feel, if you don't move forward, you may lose out on your opportunity. You're still holding on to something. Here's the Devil card. You still feel lost. Even though we had the Seven of Cups in reverse, meaning that you know what you want now, you still get confused. You still get in this energy where you feel like, 
I'm not good enough, I'm lost, I'm confused, I don't know what direction to take, should I move forward, should I speak my mind, should I stay silent, should I completely ignore this person? That's not going to help your situation. If you want, if you have feelings for someone and you want to make things work, but you're not saying how you feel, not talking to this person, and you're literally ghosting them, do you expect them to come forward? Especially if they've tried and you keep blocking them or keep ignoring them, you think they're going to keep going out of their way when they see you in this energy? Confused, not knowing what you want, lost, not saying how you feel, bound, shackled to substances, addictions, um, and that could be anything. It doesn't have to be a drug. It could be anything. People are addicted to porn. People are addicted to eating. Or people are addicted to not eating. People are addicted to literally anything you can possibly think of. This is saying to analyze your addictions and be honest with yourself. There's the energy that you know what you want, and you want to move forward, you want to convey how you feel, but you're still stuck. You're still fighting it. This is what you're fighting. You're choosing, consciously or subconsciously, to stay hidden, to stay lost. But, with the Four of Swords in reverse, and the Hanged Man in reverse, excuse me, the Four of Swords in reverse, and the Hanged Man in reverse, it's like you were still conflicted, you didn't want to go within yourself because you didn't want to deal with the bullshit because it's hard, and it sucks, and it hurts. So you've been fighting it. You've been fighting this love that you have this desire for stability 11 11 so to speak you can think of if you want to say a twin flame soulmate whatever the fuck you've been fighting it you've been fighting the desire to have a stable foundation with someone or a career or whatever it is four is about stability five is about change but the five of wands is about fighting So with these cards side by side, can you see the message here? The Hermit. The Hermit is about going within. We had the Four of Swords at the beginning of the reading in reverse which is about refusing to go within and there's the three swords here which later on in the reading in the middle of the reading the three of swords came out in reverse and now look we have the hermit we had the hanged man as well the hermit the four of swords and the hanged man are cards about going within about seeing things from a different perspective The hermit is telling you, you have a seed to plant. If you allow it to grow. If you plant the seed, it will grow. But if you don't plant it, ain't shit gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm done with the tarot. And then here I kind of knock something over. The queen of swords. The queen of swords. <laughs> If you're still sneaking around, if you're still in this, the Seven of Swords energy is about lies, deceit, sneaking around, thievery, cunning, conniving, planning in order for you to get what you want despite it hurting someone else. If the Queen of Swords still sees that you're still in this, this energy, she ain't gonna come forward. That's what I'm saying. The emperor is underneath that with strength 
I said I was gonna stop. And here it keeps going. Today's message, look. I said it wasn't gonna be long, and this bitch long. Of course. <laughs> the emperor is here with strength. You have to have strength. Have strength to communicate that you don't feel happy. You want the Ten of Cups upright. And right now, it's in reverse. You're not happy. Because you're not seeing what Spirit has been trying to give you. Because you're so focused on partying or all this other shit. And that doesn't have to be you. Take it as it resonates. Could be a person, whatever the case is. Okay? The Three of Cups is about working with other people. I know it's more of the Three of Pentacles, but the Three of Cups is about celebration with people. The Four of Cups is someone leaning against a tree, sitting down, just staring at three cups in front of them, not knowing which one to choose, kind of feeling bored. And Spirit's like, hey, here's a cup, here you go. And then they don't even notice it because they're so focused on these three cups. You know what you want or not. You want this one cup that's going to reciprocate and, and be balanced? Or you want these three cups that aren't going to be fulfilling to you? Just because in the moment they seem fun. I'm getting this energy of like, you... <laughs> If this is a person that you want in your life, you're refusing their love. But you may be kind of wanting love from a bunch of different people. Because you're afraid if this person denies you that everything's going to fall apart. You're strong enough. You can handle it. But you'll never know until you come forward and fucking say how you feel. What cup do you want? You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't have your hand in a bunch of different cups. If you want the Ten of Cups, happy home, happy family, stability in relationship, in emotion. Unless you're having an open relationship and everyone that you're fucking with knows and is okay with that, you gotta choose one, honey boo boo. You can't have it all. <laughs> this person, I feel, is an all or nothing person. I can relate. You pick one. I feel like this person is like. It's me, or it's all these side hoes. You know what I'm saying? I don't share. I feel like that's the energy. <laughs> that it, if this is resonating with you, that's the kind of energy that you're that you're facing. And that might be why you don't you may have some fear of coming forward because this person might be quite you might still see that they're still hurting or you might still be hurting. Both of you are still hurting. That's what I feel. But both of you have been trying to heal and move forward past whatever is going on, right? But with the Six of Cups in re Oh, you guys. Wasn't I just talking about the Three of Cups? And look at this bitch here. Remember how I said this person that you're dealing with is an all or nothing bitch? And she'd be telling you straight up to your damn face like it's me or it's all these side bitches, okay? You choose one bitch me this bitch or them side bitches you can't have your cake and eat it too that's not how it works okay and look wasn't i saying you you're seeing all this other shit it's in reverse the six of cups is about coming together it is about reunion it is about reciprocity it is about a reunion with someone from your past it is about a reunion with yourself from the past your inner child healing your inner child 54 44 444 
stability. In order to have a stable foundation, a new beginning, you have to reconnect with your inner child and heal those wounds. It hurts. But if you don't work through it, it's going to haunt you in every single fucking relationship. It will. And you see it. You know it. No matter how hard you fight it, you deny it, you go into a relationship, shame, same shit happens. You choose one cup or you choose every other cup. But if you choose every other cup, you're not going to really be happy. You think that's fun. You think that's what's going to get you the Ten of Cups. I mean, if you want to be a smart ass, you add cups together, then yeah, I'm going to get no. <laughs> in this case, in a relationship, that's not how it works. If you want an open relationship, be honest about it. 55-55. 10 10 10 is about a new beginning, it is about the end. You cannot have a new beginning without ending of something. Okay? You're afraid. I feel this fear. This fear of... And I mentioned this at the very beginning of the reading, didn't I? This fear of... Of meeting in with yourself when you go within yourself this fear that you don't want to because you're afraid of what's going to come up I said that with the four of swords in reverse you refuse to go within sometimes because that's when the shit starts to come out in your mind your trauma your past you have to face it but know that you're not alone you don't have to be alone. You can convey how you feel to someone that you love and that you trust. But if you force yourself to believe that ain't nobody going to agree with you, ain't nobody going to understand, you are overstressing yourself over something that you have help. If you allow the right people to help you but you cannot come into union with someone until you come to union with yourself okay look there's two aces there's three <gasps> you guys oh my god what the fuck is up with this reading today there's three aces and all of them are in reverse and they were next to each other. You guys. <sighs> stability. Physical stability. Look, the roots are trying to grow, but I mean, roots don't grow up. They grow down. This pentacle's in reverse. You want stability, you want emotional fulfillment, you want passion and creativity. Then get it. What are you waiting for? If you know what you want, then say it. But if you never say it, this is what you're gonna get. You won't have a new beginning in, in this, or in love, or in stability. When it comes to this, person, place, or thing, this career, or this uh, relationship. The Six of Wands is about victory. <laughs> oh god, all these cards, right? Oh. I'll show you, okay? The Six of Wands is about victory, and it's in reverse. If you cannot convey that you want... Oof, excuse me. <laughs> if you cannot convey that this is what you want then you're not gonna have a victory if this is what you do and you stop yourself from conveying that or from being in that energy then you're not gonna have a victory
where's that bitch? Where, where she is? Where? Remember how I mentioned the Two of Cups? You want this emotional fulfillment, but you want to share it with someone. Two of Cups. But you have to let go. Okay, this is what I saw. This is what I saw. The Ten of Wands in reverse and the Fool was peeking out underneath. Look, there's... Was that judgment? Yep, judgment. Okay. 10-10, remember how I said 10-10 earlier? There's 10-10 again and here's 10. The Ten of Wands, upright, is about overburden, burnout, being exhausted, exhaustion. It was in reverse. It's telling you to let the shit go. You want to have this, you got to let it go. And you may be thinking, well, this person's the one that's not letting it go. Maybe it's both of you. And maybe you just both need to have a fucking sit down conversation with each other and be real with each other. That you guys love each other and you're tired of the bullshit. Judgment. You're, you want to bring judgment to the situation. You want that reciprocity, that justice. Right? But you have to speak your truth. You can't have it if you don't speak your truth. You cannot have this blessed new beginning with all these tens. You're at the end. You are at the end. It is your decision. Is this person's decision too? One hour, one minute, and 55 seconds. Five and five. Ten. <laughs> Good. Zero, one, zero, one. Ten, ten. You cannot have a new beginning without coming to an end of something. What else is here? The Nine of Swords in reverse. You gotta get out of your fucking head. Nine of Swords is about um, being in your head, not being able to sleep, uh, anxiety, depression, all of this stuff. It's in reverse. You have to say how you feel. You have to get out of your head. You have to stop telling yourself that there's no possibility there is no possibility if you don't make it so. The possibilities are always there. You gotta dip into it. If you don't dip into it, you ain't getting it. Like my parents said, if you want something, ask. What's the worst someone can say? No? You just say, you can say thank you and then you move on. If you never ask, the chances of someone giving that something to you is probably zero percent. If you ask, it becomes zero percent to fifty percent. Isn't fifty percent better than zero? Face your fears. You may be fearful of what this person may say or do. I feel like you might be surprised. The Eight of Swords in Reverse. Eight of Swords is about being in your fucking head. Keeping yourself bound. Right? In the original Rider Waite tarot deck. I'm going to put this one off. Just, ooh. Get to that. Yeah. I forgot what that card was for a moment. The Eight of Swords is about... Is it's depicted as this woman who's who's lightly bound and she has blindfolds she's surrounded by swords but the thing is she could just wiggle out of those you know out of the the binding because it's loose around her and take out the blindfold and walk right through right in between the swords but she's staying blindfolded i feel like you're staying blindfolded until you choose to stop being blindfolded until you choose to stop being in your head about it and remember what I said you cannot have a new beginning without coming to an end what's the full card the full card zero literally the first 
card in the entire tarot deck. The first major arcana. This isn't number one. Number one is the magician. This is zero. The fool card comes before the magician. Zero is where it starts. Zero is that new beginning. It is a new cycle. 10 10. Are you going to release the old cycle? Are you going to release the burdens, the fears, the doubts, the anxieties, the depression, all that shit to come forward? To have a new beginning? The full card was upgrade. The possibility is there. If you take it, okay, my phone is like a 20% battery now. <sighs> plant the seed. See if it grows. You don't know. You can plant different seeds, and some of them aren't going to grow, and some are. If you come forward, you may have a chance. But if you don't, then you won't. I'm not a <laughs> good like this is as much this is of the rest of the deck that like we didn't even get through <laughs> we gone through everything else you saw how those messages unfolded oh yeah and this too we didn't go through this look okay this is a mess. Let me move all these cards to the side. Let's pull some charms today. That was a lot. Alright, let's pull some charms. Charm ball. charm that did not fall in the charm bowl or charm plate whatever look who else is an Aries in this house <laughs> there's a little Rambi a little critter I love this charm this charm is so cute I don't know if you can no that was worse whatever you get the point this is a charm Perhaps this resonates with you as much as it resonates with me. This little critter here. I love it. So cute. Okay. So what I'm feeling with this, with the horns, is making me think of cycles. Okay. You may think that this person is in their head creating cycles or stuck in cycles. They may be... You may be, it may be both ways. You'd never know until you come forward and talk about it, okay? So we have quite a bit of things. Let's get right into it. We have this magical symbol, this power symbol. This is a trident. It says, magical power by the three rays of magic within the witching hour, by the five stars of the north, I summon forth true magic power. So mote it be. Five stars of the north. That's making me think how earlier I mentioned about the north star with the star card and it's peeking out right now. It's peeking. It's peeping out at us. The star card. Follow your truth. Follow your inner guidance. Follow that. And actually it's interesting because the kind of music that I'm playing right now is crown chakra. This is making me think of the crown chakra too. I mentioned the third eye, you may be trying to open your third eye, you're working, you're trying to be more stable within your lower chakras, but you're also wanting to expand your knowing, expand your knowledge, and come into greater awareness, expand your magical power, your strength, your perseverance. Within the left hand path, the trident also symbolizes power. Interesting, we also have five stars. We have this uh, pe pentagon. Ooh, this pentagon. 
okay, five, again, maybe significant. In order to pursue your magical power, you have to make changes in your life. One, ten, zero, one. That's what I saw right now. Ends and beginnings. Planting seeds. Remember I mentioned that? Here's a little itty bitty acorn. You see that? Planting the seeds. Where are you going to go? You're trying to erase something from your past? You don't erase your past. The past will always be with you. And as it should. The past is meant for you to handle it. To face it. And to progress. To move forward from it. Not to erase it. If you erase the past, that's how shit repeats itself. When we, as a society, are not honest about the past and why things really played out the way that they played out, things repeat themselves. You try to erase the past, it's going to repeat itself because you're not facing it. Okay? Here we have a lucky charm. This is a for oof, and that fell. Let's see if I can get it. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> This is a four leaf clover. So you're trying to have luck and love. Luck and love. Luck and love. You want love when you're really honest with yourself. 1, 11, 22. <laughs> ah, you guys. The synchronicities are real. Speaking of one, we have a vessel in here. You or this person may be Mexican or have a Spanish heritage of some sort. A peso. Oh, we have a peso? One peso and we got a penny? You got to know your worth. You don't know your worth. Learn it. You're worthy. You deserve the best. You deserve happiness. Stop fucking lying to yourself. That's probably why the sun is in reverse. Cause you don't believe in your own light quit your shit believe in your damn self okay because you deserve it you have to you need to learn your worth you're worth more than a fucking penny more than a fucking peso like come on really snap out of it you gotta love yourself we have the world the world card is about ending of cycles, remember? And how many times? I just saw 1, 12, 33, 1, 2, 3, new beginnings. And I was just talking about endings of cycles. 1, 2, 3 is the progression, the start, taking those first steps towards what it is that you desire. But you gotta close out an old cycle to have a new one. You gotta get out of that devil energy, that bondage, those chains. They may be heavy. The past may be heavy, but you have to face it in order to move forward. You have to release those chains in order to move forward. It will not happen any other way. One thirteen eleven, you guys. God damn. Here, look, the Wheel of Fortune and the World Card. Yo, you guys see this? You can't make this shit up, and I know a lot of tarot readers say it, but I mean, it's with a reason. Every end is a new beginning. If you choose for it to be a new beginning, if you choose to plant that seed towards something new, then that's what you'll have. But if you don't turn the wheel, you're gonna crash. That's your choice. Look, we have more chains here. Double the chains. Double the devil energy. Okay? The devil card isn't bad. It's just something that we need to face. Look, we have how many things? Together we can make a difference. How beautiful. I don't think that you're going to be able to see that. I know my claws are fucked up. I know. That's a part of me. No, you might not. Maybe? Maybe? whatever together we can make a difference I'm telling you if you come forward you may be surprised but if you don't I what can I tell you I already told you you're trying to mend something you're trying to put something together 
you're trying to piece the things together. It's kind of hard to really piece the puzzles together when you don't have all the information, isn't it? 115. And then we have this. A little lantern. A teeny tiny little lantern, right? You want to follow your light. You want this person to follow your, their, their light. You guys want to follow your light together. You have a chance. You just you gotta be honest. That doesn't mean something's gonna happen tomorrow. But if you don't convey how you feel, then you're never going to even know. Again, you want 0% chance or 50% chance. Follow your light, follow your inner guidance, follow that intuition. I'm also getting something here about the root chakra. Grounding, okay? If you want this to become a reality, you have to ground it. You have to ground it like the tower. You have to build a stable foundation. You cannot expect it to come together unless you are willing to come together building the foundation from the ground up. That's how it is. And then look, the charms that we have left are heart charms. This is a charm that's half a heart. And it says little sis. This is a charm I got um, for my sister and my mom. My mom had the center one. And then my my sister had the big sis. There's something about family. There's something about wanting to come together. Hmm. You feel like your soul family with this person. Like no matter what it is that you've gone through or that you go to, you feel so deeply connected to this person. I saw 117. Okay, I know you guys don't have to believe me. Fuck it. I don't care. 7 is a number of spirituality. 8, 1 and 7 is a number of cycles. You're trying to move past the cycles in your life. Let the people who you love family, friends, the people who you really love and really trust, let them know. Let them in. You don't have to keep everything bottled up. That's not healthy for you. Go to a counselor and tell them that. You're bottling shit up. They're going to tell you the same shit. Go to a doctor. You're bottling up all these emotions. That's literally causing you blockages. That can literally fuck up your health. Okay. Perhaps you you may feel inspired by this person. They may be inspired by you. Kind of like siblings that motivate each other or that look up toward to each other or something. Okay. Now I, there's this heart. It has a little bit of a chain. It has a little bit of a design too. But it's really battered. Okay. So you feel beaten down. Definitely you're not sure if this love still exists between you and this person. Or if you still have this desire for this career, whatever the case is. But the heart is still there. Even though... This charm is all fucked up. The heart is still in the center of it. So in the center of all this situation, you still love each other. That's the feeling that I'm getting. And then look, the last charm we have is a heart with an arrow. <laughs> you both may kind of feel like I just saw 18 turn to 19, which was 1, 19, 19, okay? 10, 10, 0, 1, 10, 10. Ugh, you guys. You may feel like Cupid shot you through the heart, and you may have this love-hate relationship with this person, perhaps. Maybe. And so this person, too. Maybe. 
But at the root of it all, the love is there. Okay. So, I'm gonna say that's it for those charms. Let's see, if I have time, hopefully it doesn't cut out. If it cuts out, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and for, you know, sharing your energy. But let's pull a couple more cards before my device is like, yeah, 10%. Okay. <laughs> One, 2020. 20. Oh my God, you guys, the synchronicities, the numbers that just keep going. Okay. You don't have to believe me, I don't care. Whatever, it's there, take it, leave it, whatever. Okay, so let's see, final messages. Hopefully I'll be able to post this on Instagram as well. If it's not too long. Justice. Balancing out those scales. We talked about it. Compassion. Have compassion for yourself and this person. What they're going through. What you're going through. I'm not even going to mention the numbers. <laughs> what you're going through. What this person's going through. You're both going through some shit. But you guys want to be there to at least support each other. Just because you love someone doesn't mean that you have to immediately jump into a relationship with them. Like, get to know them first. Take, take it one step at a time. If you need to literally start over, then literally start over. Be like, hi, this is my name. Nice to meet you. I already know you. Let's get to know each other like we don't know each other. Because that's how much of a new beginning that I want. I want a new beginning. Let's have a new beginning. Like, we're barely meeting each other. These cards wanted to flip out. Let's see what they are. Passion and prosperity. 